hi guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to use the bus system in the uk this is for y'all who just got out of the trenches <laughs> where there's no or there are no proper public transport system obviously i mean there was BRT in lagos but we weren't really using the map and they were not timed and you just stay at the bus stop and expect it to come whenever it comes so with um, the bus system here in the UK and pretty much every transportation network, you can find it on Google and there are like various apps that people use, but I use Google Maps. So this video is going to show you how to use Google Maps to get to your location. Obviously, you're just new to the town, you don't know where certain places are, you don't know where your classes are, so you can actually use the map even when you're in the school campus and to take you to your class. Or you can use it to find a restaurant, you can use it to find whatever it is that you are looking for. So first of all, I'm going to put a screen, I'm going to shift myself and show you a screen recording on one side of this video. Just follow me through. It's pretty straightforward and easy. So you want to open your map. There's a search button. So you type where, wherever it is you're going to say, I'm going to Northumbria University. I click on Northumbria and you click on directions. And it shows you the different buses that are available so you can see bus 39 and bus 40 so the buses have numbers on them at the top of it is very visible so you can see that you click whichever one it is that's most convenient for you and there's different options here so you click whatever is convenient for you so i picked uh 39 and 40. this is an outlook of the map this is where i am so when you start the journey, it shows you like a run through of when you are supposed to arrive, when the bus is coming and the various times that the subsequent ones will come. So this is where I am at the moment. I'm just going to turn this around so you can see better. This is where I am at the moment. So the map is obviously telling me to walk through this blue part. So the blue part is not where the bus is passing. The blue part is where I'm supposed to walk on to get to the bus stop and then i've gone through um, the path this is the this is the bus stop that you can see here so every bus stop has a name when you get to the to the bus stop when you follow the map it will take you to where exactly you're supposed to be when you get there you see the name it has some sometimes it's names sometimes it's um, numbers so you check on the bus you check on the there's a board in every bus stop you check to be sure that that's where you're supposed to be if you're coming from nigeria the they drive on the opposite side of the road here so you're going to be pretty much confused i'm still very confused most times when i'm trying to cross the road i look on the opposite side because that's what i'm used to whereas you're supposed to look on the opposite of what you know so the bus the bus stop that you're looking for might be on the other side of the road and just because your subconscious knows that Oh, this is the part of the road that, I, that you are used to you might end up you might end up standing on the wrong bus stop and then the bus that you're waiting for will come and to be on the other side of the road and to leave you so you need to confirm that what your map is showing you is what the 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 identification the name of the bus stop that you are you are seeing on your map is what is actually on the board in the place that you are standing when you get there uh this is an example of a bus stop so you can see the names of the buses that stop here on this board so they're like different buses there's bus um 39 40 um 84 941 and they all have times so these numbers here are the times when they are when they usually come to that bus stop so if there's a delay you'll see it on your map that there's a delay but usually it follows this times like 95 percent of the time so you want to be there at the time that you're supposed to be there so you don't miss the bus and then when you are at the bus stop make sure that you put your hands out this is an example of a bus coming this isn't the bus that i was waiting for but you can see the number when you're at the bus stop you need to put your hand out else the bus is not going to stop it will assume that you're waiting for another bus if you don't put your hand out to actually notify the bus to stop for you it will pass you by so when you get to the bus stop and you're sure that that's the bus stop you're supposed to be at and you can see that the number on the bus is the number that your map said you should enter get on that bus <laughs> stop the bus and get on the bus i'll show you the app that i use to buy my tickets it's pretty much cheaper 
otherwise you can buy your tickets with cash or with your card you can swipe your card on the machine and you buy like um, a single a single trip or a day ride if you buy a day ride you're able to use it all through the day wherever it is that you want to go to it doesn't have um limitations of destinations but if you buy a single ticket say you're going from wherever to school and you buy one way you might buy one way for two pounds ten but if you buy um a day ride you're buying a day ride for four pounds is it four pounds or thereabouts and you can go anywhere so you can go to school you can go to you can go shopping you can go visit your friend or with that ticket so if you haven't got the app yet and if you know that you're not the app if you're buying if you're buying weekly pass yeah it's cheaper if you're going out every day but if you're not going out every day you're probably just going out three times in a week i think it's better for you to buy day ride every time you want to step out if you are if you know that you, your worker is not going to be straight you're going to go somewhere else you want to still be able to get on the bus and not pay extra so there's day ride there's weekly ride there's monthly i'll show you the app that i used to buy sometime later on in this video so when you get on the bus go back to your map you can see that it shows you with this i'm sure there's a screen beside me right now i will put this beside me right now so you can see that there are various stops from this from the screen that you're watching i entered from stanhope brighton grove stanhope street brighton grove that's the, the bus stop that i entered and I entered bus 39 so you can see that it says there are nine stops before i get to where i'm going so there's stanhope street beaconsfield street some buses have um like an announcer on the bus so when you, when you're about to get to a particular bus stop it will tell you that oh this is where you are or this is the next bus stop some don't so you need to be looking at your map especially if you are new and you're not you don't really you're not really familiar with the place that you're going to so you want to be looking at your map so my map says i'm supposed to stop at monument new bridge street right so i'll follow i'll keep looking all of these dots on the yellow line at the various bus stops that this bus is going to stop so i'll keep looking until it gets to my location the place i'm supposed to stop i'll press a key i'll show you the it says stop so they're like red buttons on the bus where you're supposed to press to indicate that you want to get down the driver is going to know you're not going to be shouting oh wow, oh, wow i want to come down <laughs> so yeah that's the, about that uh, so when you get to your street just like you use the, the the map from your house get to the bus stop the map will continue to show you the path that you're supposed to follow until you get to your destination and then the trip will end and voila you're there so in some other cities in the uk you don't have to pay in newcastle yeah if you get on the bus every time you get on the bus you have to pay except you have the day ride so if you have the day ride you just show it and then there are different prices for different places in newcastle that's something that i i thought was the norm until i went to another city or until i went to different cities so in 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 edinburgh you don't need to you don't need to pay um you don't need to say oh this is where i'm going or this is the bus stop that i'm going to. but in newcastle if you're living let's say you're living in Northumberland and you're going to brighton grove stanhope street you tell the driver that oh this is where i'm going and then he'll charge you accordingly so not every bus stop has the same price some places are one pound eighty some 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 places two pounds some two pounds ten two pounds fifty and all of that but in edinburgh i noticed that once you if you get if you're using a contactless contactless card you just tap your card every time you're going to get on the bus and then at the end of the day it does the calculation and it reads it as um, um a day ride like a day trip so it charges you four pounds i think that's the i don't i don't know what the app forgotten what exactly the amount is but it charges, it charges you a basic fee but if you're going just once then it's to charge you. if you tap your card just once in a day it charges you for a single ride same thing in london if you're if you're in london and you're getting on the you're getting on the bus you just tap your card you don't have to say oh this is where i'm going or that's where i'm going the the, the fare is the same all through so you tap your card if you if you come back within um i think one hour or so it charges you as um, a return trip but if you don't complete if you do only one if you do only one way it charges you for just one way so in newcastle you need to say where you are going to and then they'll charge you accordingly if you, even if you're paying with your card or you're paying with cash so you can pay with cash you can pay with apple pay you can pay with google pay you can pay with 
your card and then there's a, the, the boss in Newcastle is stagecoach so there's stagecoach card where you recharge it maybe weekly or monthly depending on whatever it is that you are that you want what have I said all along enter the address from wherever you are staying or wherever you are of where you want to go to and then you will see the buses that are available and the times that they are coming and the distance from where you are start the trip ask for when you enter the, the destination on google maps click on direction start the trip and then google will show you google maps will show you where you're supposed to walk through the path that you're supposed to follow follow the path get to the bus stop when you get to the bus stop so like in in, in newcastle eldon square there's like five or six bus stops in that place you're going to get confused so each bus stop has a name or a letter that identifies it if you look at your map you will see it's saying maybe stand j or stand k or stand l or whatever it is that it's called make sure that you are on the right stop when you get to the bus stop check the board the white board that is there be sure that oh this is the right bus stop that i'm supposed to be i'm supposed to be at and it's going where i'm going and so when you, when you see the bus the bus number that you've decided to go with the most suitable one for you put out your hand to stop it when you see it coming get on the bus show them your ticket if you have a day ride or purchase a new ticket if you are just getting on the ride for the first time get on the bus keep looking at your map it will show you where you're supposed the bus stop that you're supposed to stop so when you get to that bus stop when you're almost at that bus stop you press the stop button that is on the bus and then the driver will be notified you get down from from the bus on that bus stop follow the map to take you where you're going to and voila you are in your destination all you need to have is internet you have to have network for it to be accurate for it to work so the bus app that i use is go north east so with go north east you you can use you can buy train tickets on that app you can buy ferry tickets so in case you're going somewhere that you need to uh, go you need to sail you need to get on a boat you can buy your tickets on that app if you're going somewhere let's say you're going from newcastle city center to um the airport via the metro you can use the app as well so all you need to do it has like a barcode i'll show you on the screen as well it has a barcode so you can scan the barcode and you go wherever it is you want to go so i buy they have weekly tickets they have monthly tickets they have students tickets they have uh workers yeah so the, the the one that i buy because I, i'm not going anywhere outside of um, newcastle itself so i buy i buy the monthly or i bought the monthly pass for 40 i think 49 pounds for a month which is cheap if you want to look at it because one way trip from my house to school is two pounds two pounds 30 i'll be two pounds 50 i don't remember now but if you divide the amount of uh, the amount I paid for one month or for 20, 28 days by the number of times I go to school or by 28 days, if you divide the amount by 28 days, it's way cheaper than buying daily tickets. So you want to buy in bulk. Everything you buy in bulk is basically cheaper anyway. So yeah, I bought, I bought that one. If you're going to go outside, so when you get on the app, it shows you the circumference where your ticket covered so if it's zone one zone two zone three whatever wherever it is that you need to go you can buy the ticket that applies to you i'll put the picture or video of the app somewhere on the screen as well so yeah there you go and then you will not be lost you will not be looking like <laughs> you'll not be looking like you don't know where you're going you just have to have internet it's pretty simple and when you get used to it it's uh it's a walk in the park from then on what else haven't i covered but yeah, that's basically all the news that I have for you today. Until next time, please remember to subscribe, like, share, comment and watch my other videos. And tell your friends to tell their friends and tell your enemies so that the community can go. So that I can get 100k subs and I can be a big YouTube girl. <laughs> Bye.